Hey guys, just want to do a little update video on the 125. This is my Lake Tanganyikan um, African Cichlid Tank. Um, so some quick highlights. Right here in front is my Parasipochromis. Uh, she's my female that I have left. Sadly, I've lost all my males. I don't know what happened. They just, I don't know if they're extra sensitive or they're just getting picked on from the bigger compressed seps and the, the gobies. But uh, that's all I got left. I do have one small um, fry in here left as well. Um, so that didn't go well. But what's going well is the Lulupi, they've been breeding in that cave right in the middle of the tank. They currently don't have any fry. So uh, they're kind of out about doing their own thing. The females over here and the, the males over on this left side uh, just hanging out. Um, I haven't been able to get the these these pretty guys out back here, the Firefin compressor seps to breed yet. Uh, but they're definitely getting bigger. They look pretty comfortable um, and they seem to be doing pretty well um, So the only But the big news that I have and the reason I'm doing this video is my goby cichlids which Are kind of hiding right now, but they're in the back. They have bred and If you've never bred goby cichlids, which I have not this is the first time they've ever bred So it's pretty exciting for me. That's my male right there in the middle of the picture um, he's actually holding right now, which is really unique because uh, There we go see the, the females on the left and the males on the right um, And this is very what's very unique about these fish is my female was holding their eggs Just like a parasipochromis or a ventralis or some of the other mouth brooders or or haps peacocks or whatever, but uh, The female will hold on all those as far as I know the female holds for uh, an X amount of time, 20 days, two weeks, maybe, maybe even a month until the fry are free swimming and then they spit them. So they're mouth brooders. And the goby cichlids are mouth brooders as well, but what's unique about them is they're biparental mouth brooders. So the female will hold for two to three weeks, and the, my female actually held for about three weeks, so she was on the longer end. And then what I've been read is the male will hold for another two to three weeks. So. We'll see how long he holds. Um, I plan to strip him after, I don't know, maybe another 10 days, maybe uh, maybe just two weeks, because of all of those big compressor steps back there, because there's there's five compressor steps in here. I just don't think there's any chance for the fry. So I wanna pull him because uh, it's pretty hard to, to breed goby cichlids from what I've read. Uh, they're pretty aggressive towards their own kind. Um, from what I've been told, like the lupi will pick on each other, but these uh, gobies will actually kill kill their other competition if you don't have a big enough tank. And even in this 125, I started with three original with that male. I had three or four, and he killed off the other three. I don't know if they're all males. I don't know if female. If he just didn't want with female or what, but he killed off all of them. I put him in a separate tank. Got the female with the three others. She's got three fish. She's the only one that survived. Um, and then I was like, well, let's just try and put them together. And they've been in here living for a while. And I thought I had a pair for a while. And now, um, it's official because he is in fact holding, uh, you didn't, I don't know if you saw it, you could see in the video, but it's hard to see, but he is definitely holding. Um, so yeah, I'll do some update videos of, of him with the fry and, and hopefully I'll be able to get them to grow up and survive and, and do all that. So it's, it's really exciting uh, for me, and I hope uh, I can eventually get some more, get these uh, compressed steps breeding out of this tank. But for now, I'm pretty dang happy because I got the lupi breeding pretty regularly, monthly, and then I have the gobies breeding now, and we'll see how often they do it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got going on, and I really wanted to show it because it's something I've never bred before, and wanted to share it with you guys so I'll give you some updates as the I get some fry and, and after I strip him and uh, hopefully everything goes well and I can strip him successfully and all that so thanks for watching